The Arvaker Alpine Backpack is truly a backpack with endless possibilities. It comes in two sizes, 40 and 60 liters, and you have the option to attach any of our accessories. For example, side pockets, hip belt pocket or bottle holder. This means the backpack can be customized to suit your needs perfectly, whether you're a skier, a snowboarder, a climber, a hiker or perhaps just traveling. The Arvaker is not waterproof, although the fabric is waterproof. Rain can still come through the seams since it is not taped. Our skeletal support principle minimizes the painful loading on the shoulder, the neck and hips. The butterfly bridge on the shoulder harness will help to unload the weight from your neck muscles to your shoulder and collarbone. Joel, who is our hardware designer and also responsible for sustainability work, will guide you through the features of the Arvaker Alpine backpack. Joel will demonstrate the 60 liter model and the features are the same on both sizes. You find, among the other labels, the label with the refund value. Arvaker gives you 10 euro back when it's worn out. When you adjust the backpack to fit your body, you start with the hip belt. The hip belt consists of two parts that are fastened together with a large velcro to each other and also to the back padding. You can't see the velcro, but you can feel it when you stick in your hand. The hip belt can be moved up or down depending on your back length. If you are a short person, you should have it in the highest possible position. And you can also adjust the position of the hip belt padding by detaching the two parts from each other and then put them back together with the desired width, only leaving a short part of velcro attaching them together for the widest position. If you in some situations prefer to use the backpack without the hip belt, simply remove it. Now it's time to put the backpack on. When you put on the backpack, it's most convenient if you lift it up by taking a steady grip at the handle and then help out with the shoulder straps. The buckle on the hip belt is easy to close and most important of all, very easy to open in emergency situations. It's also very hard to accidentally damage the buckle by stepping on it. Tighten the hip belt straps. You do this by pulling the upper webbing. The lower webbing should actually be quite loose, not to strain your blood flow. The hip belt pillows should rest on your hips slightly angled. Pull the straps downwards so you get the load on your shoulders. You can alternate the load point during walk by releasing the strap and the load will be transferred to your hips or by tightening it to move the load to the shoulders. Ideally, when using a heavy backpack, you should have 70% of the weight on your hips and 30% on your shoulders. But this can vary with your own preferences and the backpack weight. Now it's time to adjust the back length so it fits your body perfectly. It can be good to have a mirror or a friend to help you out. Next time you use it, it's perfect for your body. We will show you how it's done here. At first, make sure that the top tensioners are slack. For your convenience, make sure that the backpack is not fully packed. All adjustments of the backpack are preferably done with 5 to 10 kilo weight. Adjust the width of the shoulder harness. You do this by removing both strap from their velcro attached point and moving them together or apart to fit your shoulder width. Fold the strap before you put them back. Adjust the length of the shoulder harness by moving each strap up or down depending on desired length. If you are in average length, the seam on the strap should be in line with the top of the back plate. And then unfold them when they are in the right position on the inside of the back plate. The shoulder strap should be placed with the inside cut out following your neckline and the butterfly bridge position should be placed on your shoulder bone slightly forward towards your collarbone. Now it's time to customize the top tensioners. The top tensioners are adjusted by pulling the strings very lightly. You open and close the string by pulling it to the side and then back. Both adjusters have to be pulled in the same direction to open and close. You pull lightly until the backpack feels firm and steady. If you pull too hard, it will increase the pressure on front of your shoulders and chest, resulting in less comfortable carrying. When top tensioners are too tight, the shoulder straps lose contact with the backside of your shoulders. Then you have to loosen it. The chest strap is optional to use when needed for comfort or in activities where a very tight fit is needed. On the chest strap buckle, you have an emergency whistle. The hip belt padding is on the place where it needs to be, on your hip bone. The anatomical shape enables the legs free to move and the bloodstream to your muscles open. 
The seam on the padding is shaped after and should be in line with your hip bone. As you can see, the shaped aluminium frame is visible and quite high. It provides a solid attachment point for tents or other items you like to attach to the top and it also prevents the upper load to fall forward towards your neck. Use the top equipment fasteners to attach for example your tent or sleeping bag. Now it's time to take the backpack off. Open the chest strap if it was used. Open up the hip belt buckle and take off the backpack with the help of the handle. Open up the backpack by pushing down the buckles and then unhook them from the red aluminum hooks. Roll it open and see what's inside. A big compartment and also a small zipped safety pocket for valuable items you don't want to lose, like your stash of chocolate bars or a mouse. The roll opening allows you to carry more than 60 liters, that is the leveled measurement, and it also allows you to compress the volume when carrying less. The D-rings can be used for locking the backpack when traveling, either to protect it from being snatched or just to prevent it from falling off the safari vehicle. The D-rings should not be used for hauling the backpack when climbing. If you're climbing and want to haul the backpack, use the loops where the D-rings are attached. This will withstand a heavy toll. On the back side, there's a zipped pocket for easy access. The backside where your shoulder harness is fastened also functions as a pocket for your hydration system. Start by releasing the toggle from the D-ring that holds the back plate. Simply place the hydration system inside and fasten it in the D-ring attachment. The hose can be pulled out through the upper opening and then twisted around the top adjuster cord and placed conveniently for your use. To customize all Klettermusen's backpacks for your activity, there's a wide range of accessories to choose from. At first, Joel will demonstrate how you fasten the accessories. The entire network of cord webbing on the backpack provides fastening points for various accessories. We're starting with the side pockets. As you can see, the pocket has webbings with red aluminum toggles. You can easily move the webbings to fit the side pockets to different backpacks. You attach the side pocket by fastening the toggles into the cord webbing on the backpack. Adjust it by pulling the webbing so the pocket sits tight. The side pockets are sold in pairs. The hip belt pocket could be placed on the hip belt or on any other part of the webbing. It's also an easy to reach storage for goodies or camera. You can mount the communicator pocket on your shoulder straps or hip belts or just anywhere you find it to fit, easy with toggles. The external stretch pocket is very usable. You can dry wet clothes while walking or use it for dirty items that you wouldn't like to mess up the rest of your packing. The stretch pocket has a zip opening. Attach it with toggles. Let's do it once again. Bring it on. Waist buckle closed. Adjust the back length. Chest strap on if necessary and ready to go. To carry heavy loads will always be painful and stress your muscles. With our Arvaka and the skeletal support system you'll find it easier and you will be able to walk longer distances and enjoy your trekking more. You will also discover that with our accessory program you have not only got one pack but many for different occasions. Have a great tour!